What's good with it? It's your boy, Mr. Mixer, and I'm back with another how-to video in Adobe Audition. All right, today we are going to learn how to use the control surface so you can set up your automated mixers in Adobe Audition. Let's get to it. Also, hit that like or dislike for me. Help that algorithm out. Let's get it. Okay, first thing you want to make sure you have your fader port 16 or you can have the fader port 8 plugged in via USB. Okay, alrighty. After that, you want to go to the Huey H U I. Let's see, this setting right here. Okay, so we had the Studio One, the MCU, the MCU Cubase, well, the MCU Logic, MCU uh, Cubase, MCU Sonar. Then you have the Huey, okay? Um, the Huey is what you want to use for Adobe, okay? So you want to set that before you start Adobe, okay? All right, so we're going to hit Exit on our fader port. All right, that's going to send us in there, and we can open our DAW now. All right, everybody, let's get into it cool cool all right so we have our fader port here now what we want to do is we want to make sure that it is on and it is on huey and we are going to step to the next process all right so um we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to preferences all right so let's go to control surface all right now we're going to start over with this all right so i'm gonna just remove this all right so Make sure everything is visible, okay? All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna click add, okay? Once you click add, go to click the little device class, okay? Um, go to Huey, okay? All right, now the settings I don't really mess with. I mean, the settings I mess with, but the uh, button assignments I don't mess with. Okay, so what we wanna do here is let's actually remove these okay all right so we're gonna add all right so i want to explain how the fader port 16 is set up if you have the 16 okay so um the midi is sp split into two halves eight and eight okay so you want to go to midi input device okay all right so Personis FP16 is the first side of the MIDI, okay? So you wanna tell it to go there first, okay? So we wanna hit that and then we wanna hit okay. All right, and then we're gonna add one more. All right, and we're gonna add the MIDI N2, okay? That is the second set of MIDI for the fader port, okay? Um, you want both of those set, all right? And let's make sure we set both of those. Okay, cool. You can double click those. Um, MIDI in two, and that's gonna set the whole board up. Now, if you have the eight, I believe you just need one of those, okay? You don't need two, okay? So you can, the fader port eight works the same way, you just use one, I believe. Um, that would be logic, okay? Um, so we go back to that and we get in, just hit okay. I don't really mess with the button assignments. If you have anything specific that you see, once you get in and you see with the buttons, that's on you. But it's pretty simple to uh, change the buttons in there. Okay, so yeah. All right, um, so we're gonna hit okay. All right, so once you hit okay, you can hit okay again. And you should be set up. And I want to show y'all my mixer channel. Where are you? Okay, here we go. All right, so the whole purpose of this was to see, are we working? Yay, we are working. <laughs> All right, so this is how you set up the fader port 16. I definitely wouldn't do that, okay? And I'm definitely not saving that, but it was fun, okay? So yeah. If you want to just do that, not save it, do it. Cool. <laughs> All 
All right, so this is how you set up the Fader Port 16 in Adobe Audition, okay? Hey, it's your boy, Mr. Mixer. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out this thing. Yeah, yeah.